If you've ever wondered what online tools you should be using to up level your online business, in this episode, one of our subscribers submitted the question of what tools we love and use for online business. I think these are probably the top eight. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. And that's what we're gonna dive into in this episode coming up. So one of our subscribers asked this question a few weeks ago and she wrote, Hey Kim, I'm so overwhelmed with the amount of tech tools that are out there required to run an online business. Would you mind sharing yours? I'm super curious to hear what you and your team use to run your email marketing, collect payments, and also run your blog to name a few. Thank you so much. So I'm so excited to answer this question question for you. Uh, this reader's name is Sarah. So Sarah, this one goes out to you. And it's definitely a question that I get asked all the time inside our membership, the business lounge. So I totally understand how it can be really overwhelming, right? To choose the right tools for your online business. So if you've been wanting to get into uh, the online business world, or you're already established, I totally understand. We're going to dive into the tools that we used and hopefully just just like Sarah, you're also going to get a lot of value from this video. So just a heads up, this list is in no way in order of priority. So keep that in mind. And I think it's also important to understand that tools are an amazing channel or a medium, right? To get our work done faster and more efficiently, but they never ever trump strategy. So we always want to focus on the strategy first, right? And the tools later. So the first tool that I love and recommend is ConvertKit. You've been hearing about this tool for a while. So if you're a blogger, an expert, an author, a coach, or even if you run an e-commerce store, highly recommend taking a look at ConvertKit. It's an amazing email marketing platform. We've been using it for almost three years now, and I highly, highly recommend it. And the thing that I love about ConvertKit the most is the fact that they have incredible deliverability. They're super reliable with their basic features. And we actually really love that they also have powerful automation. So when I talk about email marketing tools, I come from a place where I've used basically every tool out there, Infusionsoft, Entreport, GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp, you name it we've used it. And so I really, really recommend ConvertKit if you're running an online business because it has really powerful features, but it's also very simple. So someone described it once as the power of Infusionsoft with the simplicity of MailChimp, and I could not agree more. In fact, we're going to link an entire playlist um, that we have on ConvertKit tutorials so you can check out everything that you can get done with ConvertKit and definitely explore that tool. Love it. Highly, highly recommend to convert him. All right, so tool number two is SamCart. You've also heard me talk about this tool in the past. It's an awesome way of capturing payments, right? So you usually have a merchant online, like let's say Stripe or PayPal, and we usually kind of stop there, but it's really important that you're looking at your checkout process. You know, one of the reasons that we don't really tend to look at this um, is because we just don't really know that that's one of the most important pages on our website. So I bet you didn't know that about 90% of people who go through your entire funnel actually leave without making a purchase inside of your checkout page. So SamCart has actually done a variety of studies and tests to determine some of the elements that make buyers feel safe and secure online and encourage them to complete their purchase. That's why I love them so much. I actually tested this inside of my own business, kind of, you know, threw in a uh, Google Analytics code so that we could test out how many people were leaving our checkout pages without buying. And we absolutely figured that it was about 92% of people who went through our entire funnel left without purchasing. That was so frustrating. So highly recommend if you're not going to use Sam card, definitely use a shopping cart tool that's designed for conversions. Personally, I've tried several and I think that Sam card takes the cake when it comes to optimizing that process. They also give you really amazing in-depth analytics in terms of who's converting, who's purchasing, what product, how your upsells are working. They have one click upsells available, which is amazing for, you know, anything that you're 
you're doing online, especially when you're running, um, you know, a business like we do that sells information products or even, you know, uh, online physical products. So love using SamCart for that reason. They also have really great upsell uh, funnels. So you're able to create cross sales and order bumps and all that jazz. So highly recommend you take a look at SamCart. Tool number three is definitely one of my favorites. It's CoSchedule, and we've been using CoSchedule for a really long time. I think I started on CoSchedule like back in 2013 or something like that. So it's an awesome uh, tool that allows you to organize and plan your content. It also schedule your social media posts and you can link it to WordPress so that it actually schedules your blog posts as well. So if you're publishing on places like LinkedIn, Pinterest, Facebook, Facebook groups, Twitter, Instagram. Um, CoSchedule is definitely my go-to tool. Highly recommend it. It is a little bit pricier than most tools, but they have a great individual plan. It is catered towards agencies because it's a robust content calendar tool. Um, but I highly recommend checking out their individual plan. Kind of dig around in their website, check out their individual plan because it's totally worth it. And it's definitely a tool that's helped us keep that content, repurpose it through the different features that they offer love co-schedule now you know the no tech tool video of mine is complete without mentioning Trello and Trello is the lifeblood of our productivity it's an amazing project management tool it'll help you keep track of everything in your business so it's incredibly versatile and that's probably one of my favorite features about Trello you can turn it into really anything right from a CRM to planning your content calendar to even onboarding and training your team members I love it, use it every single day. In fact, it's what we use to plan every single rollout of our content, both publicly, so these videos that you see on the channel, as well as privately inside our membership. So whenever we're planning a new course, we're developing a new bonus or some kind of new training, we use Trello to organize that process, collaborate with team members, communicate, really figure out exactly right what we need to get done in order to produce our content, run the business, train you know our employees. And then of course we plan big picture projects as well that help us stay on track with the goals that we've set out for the year. So if you're looking to to explode your productivity, highly, highly recommend using Trello. I'm also going to link in the description box below, not just the article, the blog post that corresponds with this episode, we're gonna get even more tips and resources to leverage these tools, but I'm also going to link a full playlist that we have on Trello so you can check out all we have to offer around that specific tool. I promise you're gonna fall in love with it. So definitely check it out. Tool number five is Drift. And we really haven't talked much about this app here on the channel because it's a new addition to our tool stack. I mean, we've kind of been using it for about a year now, testing it, but we wanted to do that before um, actually recommending it, right? We wanna fully vet that. And it's not a buzzworthy kind of tool, but it's very helpful. And really what it does is just, it creates the ability of having a live chat on your website and it helps us handle support tickets. It also helps us close more sales. So we have it available inside our sales pages and people can ask pre-sale questions as well as post-sale questions. And that just helps keep that, you know, kind of human touch into our marketing. It's really easy to use automation all the time. And I think that's very important. But I think the trends that we're looking at right now is more of that human interaction, more of that human connection. And that has been a huge game changer for our business. So we use it inside the business lounge to answer questions for our members, kind of guide them through the platform. We also use it, like I mentioned, to answer support tickets and pre-sale questions. And what I love about Drift is that it does have a chatbot feature if you wanna pay a very large amount of money for that. We don't necessarily use the chatbot, but we do use what is called uh, drift takeovers, as well as little messages that pop up on individual pages that actually prompt conversations for our traffic, right? For our website visitors. And that really helps to, again, answer questions they might have, 
What I like is that we can change the message based on the page that they're hitting. It also alerts them if we're not online and lets them know that they can message us and we'll get back to them as soon as possible. So love that about Drift. It also is a great way of categorizing conversations on the support side. So every time, you know, we get a new chat, we can decide and categorize it as a sales question or a support related ticket. And then my team goes in there and they categorize it, they answer the tickets. And if there's anything that I need to answer personally, or if the person wants to talk to me, then they will assign that to myself. So it's a really great tool. Highly recommend it. It is $49 a month, but there is a free version that you can check out and leverage and use that I think is amazing. We use the free version for, I think like six months before we upgraded. So definitely check out Drift. I think it's an up and coming tool that is doing some really cool things in the online space. Tool number six is Slack. So this one is a beloved tool by a large community of entrepreneurs, business owners, executives, nonprofits, you name it. Slack is an amazing team communication tool and I absolutely love it because it allows us to communicate with our virtual team. So all of my team is in different parts of the world, right? It's either here in uh, the US or in the Philippines. And so we're in different time zones it can get really crazy to communicate and Slack helps us stay on track. I also love that it helps build team culture because we get to kind of organize our conversations in different channels, right? We have one channel that's like for our daily reports where we talk about all things business and what needs to get done. We have another one for wins where we celebrate cool things that are happening um, in the business and then a whole different one for just random fun stuff and we just share our life, we share kind of cool things we're finding on the internet, just things that are totally unrelated to business. So I love Slack for that reason. It's just another place where we can actually, you know, touch base with each other on a daily basis and then also have that ability of taking our chats anywhere, right? Not having to be like distracted using something like Facebook Messenger, right? We can take the app on our phone. It's also available on the Windows. Um, I think it's called, I don't know what the Windows Store is called, the Windows, yeah, the Windows Store, and then also available on iOS or Mac if you're using that. It also integrates with Trello and Asana, so that's awesome because if you have that type of project management tool and you want, for example, when a card is completed or a project is done, that can send a notification to your Slack channel. That could be a really good kind of touch point as well to merge both of your communication tools and your project management. Tool number seven is Canva. And as you guys know, I'm a proud Canva ambassador. That doesn't mean that I'm an affiliate. I just love sharing what they have on um, available and I'm not getting paid to say this. I should have started the video with that. <laughs> it's not sponsored, but these are the tools that we love and use. And I absolutely love Canva. It helps you design quality, you know, designer quality graphics without having any kind of design background. I love it so much that I literally created a full course on it because you guys asked for it. So it's called zero to branding. And if you want more details on that program, I'll definitely leave a link below, but it basically will show you how to use Canva and Canva has two different levels. It's Canva for free, right? The free plan and then Canva for work. Both of them are amazing. They have the ability of creating amazing, beautiful graphics, whether it's social media, newsletters, printed as like if you need to, you know, print a brochure or create some kind of ad um, that's printed, you can do that as well. Business cards, Facebook ads, you know, logos, headers on your website, really anything you can think of you can do it with Canva. The possibilities are truly <laughs> endless. And I used to love this as well when I was working with clients because it would keep all of their assets in one account and it would be super easy for me to go in, exchange logos, upload stock images, create and approve beautiful designs. So I love it in that sense, but I also love it for my own business. Everything that you see on our website and our community, you know, on this channel as well, like the thumbnails of these videos, they're all created inside of Canva. And um, it's definitely a must have tool if you're running an online business, regardless of what industry you're in, 
definitely check out Canva. Again, we have a full playlist on how to use Canva and we'll link that in the description box below if you want even more tutorials and training around that. The next tool is Drive and every online business owner needs to have amazing storage and that's where Google Drive comes in. My team and I love using Google Drive, not just because it's very inexpensive, but because it's super efficient. It just makes life easier to have everything in one place, right? We use Google apps as well, which allow us to create documents and collaborate inside of spreadsheets and create great Google forms. All of that is a full suite that's totally free. And it's a lot easier to use an online, you know, Word document or a spreadsheet where we can all collaborate, we can comment on that specific file um, and then make changes. So I love using Google Drive for that reason. We store and organize all of our videos, all of our media, all of our assets, every single thing that we need to share, we store it inside of Google Drive. So love having that in kind of our little arsenal and our tool stack. And I think it's a very reliable tool. Of course, there's tons of other storage tools out there. Dropbox is a great contender um, and that's a really great tool as well. We tend to like using Google Drive again because we use Google Apps and all of their amazing features. It's easier for, for us to just keep it all together. And I also think Google Drive is perhaps a tad bit less expensive. So that's definitely something to look at. And it's definitely the tool that we use to kind of store everything that goes on in the business and that we need in order to collaborate and get things done. So there you have it. Those are eight of our most used tools here in the business. Of course, we have so many others. Maybe we'll do a part two if you request it. We might share even more tools. So if you want to see another video around tools that we love and utilize and leverage, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Zero to Branding if you want to learn how to up level, right? The graphics and the visual aesthetics that um, you're creating online, which is so important when it comes to perception, when it comes to being a legit brand on the internet. Of course, making sure that your assets, right? And the visual aesthetics that you're creating on social media, on your website, on your newsletters, on your Facebook ads, really reflect that you're a legit company and a legit brand. All right, that's all we got for today. I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now. Un beso. Ciao. I feel the warmth of your skin. I feel the touch of your hand.